this and we love to get recipes, be sure and put your name on every page, your name and address. We so want to know can, who to blame. And if you don't want us to use your name, we won't, but uh, we would like to know where you are <laughs> and uh, when you send it to us. <laughs> And so send those recipes in. There's an address at the end of the show, and you can either send them regular, uh, old mail, uh, expensive new mail price on it, or you can send it to us at our website on the Internet. Okay. Through email. Now, what's this device that you're giving me? I don't know. Well, this is a gift from my friend Ann Cooney, and she works for a major health care operator. Uh, and I, I want them to see this. It's a, it's a ruler. Now, yeah, don't tell them what it's for. Now, I got to tell you, I have been around a long time, but it looked just like a ruler to me. And I didn't know what all these notches were for. And it turns out this, this, this ordinary ruler has some very Let's legitimate show. Use. Let's show everybody. They invent something every day, ladies and gentlemen. When you're working with that hot stove, you can pull that out with that, and then you can push it back in with that. Isn't that amazing? Did you, you want to see that in slow motion, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> so there you go. And we I, got I, you, something new every day. Well, and we got other mail here, Larry. This was uh -oh, this is a to all of us, including Doris here. You read the name. Doris Labor, Larry, and the whole crew. Well, it's a right long letter. Am I supposed to read the whole letter? Ask Carol for permission to read the whole letter. Huh? First part. First part. <laughs> we'll leave out all the dirty stuff and whatever else. It took me a while to come up with something I thought would show a token of my appreciation for the wonderful show you guys put on. I contemplated just writing a letter, did the email thing, and it just didn't feel it was enough. So from my heart to your kitchen, please accept this homemade witch. Ah! Oh, it's wonderful. The witches had a redo, a makeover, just like they do on Regis and Kathy Lee. <laughs> Laurie Kelb of Bell Mead, New Jersey. Well, Laurie, we thank, thank you. you for thank the you witch. Much. That's great. Well, I have a letter. Oh, you do? That we got uh, a couple of months ago. I love to get letters sometimes. This is to Doris Ford, Laban and Larry. Oh, okay. Now, who gets top billing yes. on this show? Uh, watch your show every day. I'm from Rockbridge County, Virginia. But I will tell you, don't drive your truck with your gun in it to New Jersey. <laughs> I did, and I'm in a New Jersey prison. Well, <laughs> one more year, I've got to watch you guys. <laughs> and then he goes on to say, if you have any extra food, here is a list of what we can accept <laughs> at the prison. And proceeds to outline how oh. it has to be packaged and where it's got to be set. And I am not going to tell this person's name because maybe Wayne will want to come back to this part yes. and face his neighbors and friends. It's true. We, it is true. Uh, we d oh, people and don't believe us sometimes. I got but one we really more. do get stuff. You remember that trip up to Reading a couple of years yeah. ago? Well, people are still sending pictures. That's uh, Florina. Uh, <laughs> Floriana. Well, that's her, and that's me, and that was at that big fundraiser. Uh -huh. 800 crazed souls yes. showed up to say hi to us. Thank you for sending the picture. Well, let's, uh, you know, it's... We we're, need the witch. We're taping this show early, early in the winter, and it is as cold as a witch's broomstick. That's true. <laughs> there is a... All right, now let's see what the... <laughs> oh, well, she came back. Well, send She's her, on your back. Send her on her She's way. She's on your back. Quick. What's it say? Dear boys, yeah. I am so tired of eating out every night. Ever since we won the lottery, we have been eating out. My husband, his bubbiness, has gained 50 pounds and is fat as a hog. Oh, dear. Do you have a few easy recipes I could do at home uh, if I can remember how to turn the stove on? <laughs> Thanks for your speedy help. Mm -hmm. Signed, Georgia Money Pain. Point Puny, Illinois. Point Puny. Haven't heard from there for a while. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do a uh, chicken casserole that was sent in by the very lovely and semi-voluptuous Christine and Jeffrey Verbus of Places Unknown, one of our favorite spots. Right. 
And I'm doing a cream cheese corn recipe that looks to be real tasty. Okay. And I don't know who it was from. Can I do something? Sure. I just Go need to do here. one quick thing, and then the whole show is yours. I'm out of here. I got things oh, to well, do at home. Oh, well, thanks so much. Okay, I don't have time for the show. Uh, anyway, I have to take uh, about four chicken breasts and wash them off, and I'm going to boil them very quickly. Is that parboiling or pre-boiling? Come on, Doris. Come on, Doris. Work with me, babe. Parboiling, because you're doing it halfway. Yeah. Parboiling, because right. But I'm doing it all the way. Uh, then I'm pre-boiling. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Look, somebody left a message on the refrigerator. What's it say? It says, welcome back, dudes. Dudes. With a new little pink magnet. That's really nice. Heck, heavens, put the bucket pig. in there. <laughs> Always worries me the first time out. Okay, we're going to take uh, about four chicken breasts and put them down in some water with a little salt. And I'm just going to boil them for a few minutes because we're going to chop them in a few minutes and put them into the casserole dish and we'll put all the other goop in there. This is a real no-brainer, oh, okay. which I guess is why I got it. <laughs> anyway. All right. Now, on this corn stuff, you start out with a quarter of a cup of milk. Now, you could use skim milk, but they didn't have it in the little containers at the grocery store. What can you do? And a half a stick of margarine and you again you could cut back on this i think it's a little bit heavy uh oh later uh, well, guess what management's been in too while oh gone. no been in the eggnog well yeah. i guess you know you work under some situations you just end up that way all right now that was turn. from christmas three years ago that date on there okay now salt we I have to salt. boil melt the butter uh and bring this to a uh, complete simmer. And also, I've got to put in three or uh, four ounces of cream cheese. And you know the terrible thing about cream cheese is it doesn't come in four ounces. The little packages are three ounces. The big ones are eight. So I got to cut this one in half. And maybe we'll have. Why do people call for uh, <coughs> amounts that don't exist? I don't, I don't know, but they, they do it all. a lot. I got to open a couple of cans. I guess I can handle that. You know that person at. Uh, House and Garden in New York a couple of years ago said the only thing we knew how to do was open cans. <laughs> a show like this uh -huh. just ruins our reputation. But it does call for a couple of cans of soup, uh, cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. So I'm going to open those up right now. I'm also, simultaneous to that, heating up just a little bit of margarine uh, because I'm going to have to do some stove top stuffing, which I have never done before. Isn't that amazing? I, I don't. It, it is true. I don't. I make stuff up from scratch, but this one calls for everything, everything. And so that calls for... Uh, I didn't think I'd ever get the cream cheese. Oh, really? Oh, it's a mess. A quarter of a cup of margarine, so I'm going to start melting that right now. This is not cream cheese, incidentally. It's Neufchatel. Is that right? It's what? N it's Neufchatel. Can this you say that the, on television? I just did. This is some kind of uh, cream I cheese that, that was is against the law lower or... fat. Oh, okay. I'm afraid to use the fat-free since you have to heat it up, and I don't know exactly. You what know, the fat-free stuff doesn't do so good sometimes. Yeah, it's great where you don't have it to. It gets kind of tough, yeah, rubbery. You don't have to melt it or. No anything. one wants to come to your house and eat rubbery food. Yep, that's certainly true. <laughs> Especially at your house. By the way, I read all the rude things you wrote about my party and my food that was <laughs> on email today. Oh, you got it and read it. <laughs> I certainly did. Oh, we'll have a little conversation about it since we got there. Uh huh. <laughs> no, well, black. No, it wasn't too bad. Was it wasn't really too nice. bad. Thank you. Doris Thank was you. there. But I think you're wrong about loaves of bread not being taken out of the wrapper laying on the table. No, I, no, there's a big so pile well of, of some kind of biscuits or buns. Laying in the bags oh, over on the table. Not laying well, in the were. bags on the table. And of course, I was just recovering my vision at that well, point. Well, I was going to say, I mean, you came in with a, well, never mind. A seeing eye dog. seeing eye dog and a cane, what would you know? Did you see, you were at that party, weren't you? Did you see anything laying in? She didn't see it. And Doris has perfect eye, 20 20 eyesight. Well, that, she didn't see it? Um, among the very few things left that either Doris or I had, <laughs> <that were> perfect. <laughs> Well, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, so mixing some of the, the uh, other stuff. Okay, go ahead. This is going to take a while. A can of cream of mushroom, which has a real peculiar sort of purple cast under these lights for some strange reasons. Not real attractive. 
And I got a house brand of this stuff because I saved a lot of money on it. That's one of the theories of cooking cheap, you know, is to save money. So, uh, and a can of cream of chicken. What are you laughing at? About the... Saving money or, uh -huh. the, or, or accusing me of having no, 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 loaves no, no, of bread no, laying around. Well, he did, ladies and gentlemen. They were <laughs> Pepperidge Farm or something <laughs> like that, and they were laying right on his table. <laughs> they were not. And I had had major eye surgery just a few days before, but I could see well enough. To I see. had those little square ones that you buy. Right. And they were not in a container. They were all laid right there on the platter, right, see? Piled up beside the smoked turkey and smoked ham. He had a wonderful party, but <laughs> it was really that. weird. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, eight ounces of sour cream. Now, all that goes in, and you just mix it up pretty well. Probably could have used a whisk, but this will do fine. This will do for the likes of me today. And I'm going to mix that because we're going to pour this on top of the chicken as soon as the chicken gets done. And I'm, I'm heating up a little margarine now, and I'm getting ready to do some uh, stove top stuffing per the instructions on the package, which calls for a cup and a quarter, uh, a cup and two-thirds of water. And the sound you hear in the background, little feet shuffling off into the distance, is the very lovely Doris searching diligently, because <laughs> it's the first show, and we haven't been able to find everything yet. And look at her. She's wonderful. She really is. Mm -hmm. She always comes through. So anyway, I'm heating that up, and I've got to turn that up a little bit. So, cup and a quarter. Well, my uh, cream cheese is still melting in this sauce. Now, this recipe calls for a cup and a half of corn, and it could be fresh corn and probably be a lot better. However, since this is January and uh, the corn on the cob yeah. has been imported from some place far, far away and is not very tasty, it's cheaper to use frozen. So, Speaking of this time of the year, we are, uh, as this show is being taped, uh, going through, have just gone through the terrible ice age in these parts. And for those of you who think that old Lair has never done, has never done an honest day's work in his life. I, I just want you to see this. Uh, I went out, look at these. Can you see them? Look at that. Isn't that horrible? I, I literally have blisters on my hands. Oh. For those of you who, <laughs> come on guys, <laughs> empathize. <laughs> All right, well Go now ahead. I'm gonna throw in a cup and a half of corn. This is a 16 ounce package. It's a brutal bunch this year, have you noticed? Same and brutal bunch as last not year. Not quite the whole head. package. Hey, Hammerstrom, did you bring any gum today? You can tell it's early in the season. He's mm -hmm. not bored enough to crack his gum yet. And <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and this corn, good grief, that looks like. See that? That's a little batter. flavor pack. Uh -huh. That's where all the flavor is in this stuff. And you pour that in there. And now, now what heat you have up. to do here is is just kind of keep stirring the corn until it uh, kind of warms up. You know, I missed, uh, I missed the rehearsal of this show, and, and so therefore, I, <laughs> are we gonna have the Cook Sisters? I can't remember. No, I don't coming? think, no, I don't believe so. They're not coming they, in? No, they, they will eventually, oh, but I okay. don't think they're gonna right. be here today. I've just got to start they're still attending in the some home. meetings. I just start to have to come over here a little bit early. You know, I got to thinking, wouldn't, won't it be great when the Cook Sisters and Doris and you and me all end up in the nursing home? All in the home? same home. Oh, okay, now I have... I can hear Doris now. Your bedpan isn't straight. <laughs> <laughs> she tells me that now. Okay, I'm taking this pre-boiled chicken breast out, and you just take this chicken boozy and just chop it. Because it's going to finish cooking. Uh, it's just a little bit raw in the center, but it's going to finish cooking uh, for an hour at three-something or the other one, three... Wouldn't it have been nice if I'd have done some of this in advance? 325. Yeah, I'm a busy man with a TV show. What can I tell you? So anyway, chop that into bite-sized morsels is what it says, and that's what we're doing right now. So it's going to finish cooking, all right, in the oven. Otherwise, you get, what is that they say, you come down with hypophobia uh -huh. or something? I never did figure out what that was, but anyway. And I'll, I'll have the uh, stovetop stuffing done in just a minute. I'm terribly worried about it. You want to show the recipes, or are you have, do you have anything to do, Laban? No, I don't. I'm totally, I, my dish is totally finished. <laughs> I told you it was easy. 
Uh, let's bring in the lovely Doris. I can't bring in the lovely Doris. Hold the microphone oh, okay. and do this at the same time. Come here, Doris. Or oh, here, Alvin. No, it's, it's all right. I'll bring her in. You don't have any room. Oh, watch out with that knife. Oh, she ruined a dangerous. perfectly good bit. She ruined a perfectly. Come here, Doris. I want. <laughs> Somebody left this. I have no idea. It's a wire for you. Here's the microphone. All right. There you are. It's the only one we have. Okay. Well, Doris, just come on over here. Oh, the... the oh, the indignity. Well, Doris, you, you, well, you know, one is never enough with Doris. Well, they said you could make both of them, and I left my recipe over there. Uh, but, um... <laughs> let, me, let, me go, let me run and get it a minute. All right. Oh, what can... I'm telling you, what can you do? There... A hard time getting here. She's today. wearing us out. <laughs> I had a hard time getting here. Today. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you come <laughs> <Okay>. by sleigh? <laughs> <laughs> well, almost. It's still iced up on ice oh. cream, really. Um, I had to make a, a cream puff cake, and I made both of them because she said you could use chocolate in one uh -huh. and vanilla in the other one. So I made both, and it's a. It ha the cake part takes one stick of butter, one cup of milk, one cup flour, and four eggs. Uh, uh, this is the same way you make cream puffs. And she doesn't say about beating the eggs in one at a time, I, which is what I did, rather than um, put them in at all at one time. Beat them uh, individually until they make a nice batter. And then for the filling, holy moly. <laughs> I can't get it open. It's hermetically sealed. Oh. It won't come out. Excuse me. I'm sorry, folks. Go ahead. Did I get any on you? <laughs> Well, you know, as long as it didn't go in the But you know, dark. I wish all the food poisoners <laughs> out there would pay attention and understand that you have made our lives miserable in the kitchens because everything is sealed. Couldn't get it open. I was panicking. It's as a tick. It's just oh. horrible. Okay. Go ahead, Doris. Don't let us interfere. Okay. And then for the filling, you take two packages of French vanilla instant pudding, one package vanilla instant pudding, four cups of milk, and eight ounces of cream cheese. Now, I softened the cream cheese up real good, but... Um, but the second one, I really beat it. I mean, you have to beat it real good, otherwise the lumps, you couldn't get all the lumps out mm -hmm. of it. So, so beat your cream cheese first, and then edge your vanilla pudding and whatever. Put it on the top and cover it with um, Cool Whip. And, it, and you can see how it puffs up. You cook the um, shell by itself, mm -hmm. and it puffs up really pretty. Let me see if I can uh, get you out a piece. You say you're puffed up real good. <laughs> really. Uh, I says, haven't paying attention. It says 30 minutes. But, uh, and I did it this morning because... You know, um, it looks so natural on television. I know. One would hardly know it's all, all completely fake. <laughs> you expect it's going to raise up now. <laughs> the the, the, the uh, Yeah, the spatula. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, you only got about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay. So well, I need to talk <laughs> you can get that about out I just banged the thing probably hurt somebody's ears back there. This, um, this is the vanilla one. And the... Um, the cream puff pastry, <coughs> I did it all this morning because I'm not too sure about instant pudding. And I think you have to make it the same day that you're going to serve it. I don't know how in the way I'm supposed to get these out you know, without you cutting you my good pan. You could probably pan. make this into a, here, use my knife. You could probably uh, do this with, uh, Doris, with uh, egg beaters or egg substitute and it takes and long. the fat free uh, cool whip that only has actually the cool whip or any of mm -hmm. those things that are fat free really only has a teeny teeny little mm -hmm. bit of sugar in it because this uh, this call for the instant pudding too and, and I should Here, think do you that would use this knife no because this is my good pan oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> and if anything happens to these good pans somebody's in trouble so I have to leave them down here for 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 y'all so better not be any scratches in my pan when I pick it up next week. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, guys. Nah, we don't need... I gotta finish this. Well, go ahead. <laughs> Why? How long does it take to get it I out of there? Lot. I know, it's okay, terrible, isn't it? we gotta finish Look. this recipe. In five minutes or less. Here we go. All right, so you got all the chicken all chopped up, and it's in your casserole.